So I'm uh, on my way to church, and I noticed like there's a huge misunderstanding with a lot of people. Um, I know they mean well. Um, that's why I try not to really share my journey too much with people because they have a very worldly view of things. They're like, you know, you got to make sure this, this, and this. But to have faith is to really have faith. And I think people miss the point about having faith. They consider themselves people of God or Christians. But I notice a lot of people take this to interpret whatever it is that suits their purposes and needs like you know as far as like the defilement of their bodies um jealousy uh contempt and things like this and you know they modify it i mean and then they also um practice uh, new age um things and that's in the bible too like the, the, the whole new age thing is out you know so i'm in the middle of a transitionary phase but i know what it's like to have blind faith and a lot of people who are really like they 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 don't understand what it means to be obedient to God. They're just like, no, gotta make sure this this and this. That means that you're in control. That's not God's will. That's you. So then they think you're crazy because they don't have that sort of relationship with God. And just because they can't envision it for themselves, they really can't envision it for you. And people still don't understand. You can't put your small-minded ass worldview and other people. That's you, baby. That's you. Let people have their vision. Let them do what it is that, in their relationship with God that God is telling them to do. Stop judging people. But then again, it's a process, you know, because that probably like 10 years ago, like before all the shit hit the fan, probably would have thought like these people too think I was doing well and everything uh, by them and good intention and everything. But you don't understand. Those stories... In the Bible, those, those, those accounts that happened during the Crusades, is these people who came from all kinds of backgrounds. I, I mean, they may have been a prostitute, a bit, whatever. But they had faith. They had blind faith. And people say they know what it means, but they really don't. And every time I have conversations with people, I have to revive myself about this because they say they all about it, but they're not. There's very few people that are. And so I've been listening to some women's testimonies about, you know, like their journey with blind faith from a biblical perspective. And, uh, you know, it feels good to be free from the fucking bounds and strounds of men. Like, they be trying to keep you in a little box. And it's your own family members and your own friends and people that think that they know what's right and they don't. They just do what's traditional because it's safe. Fuck safe. People that explode, they have to take some risks. You gotta take some risks. You gotta go outside the box. You gotta do something different. You can't be stuck to something because it worked for everybody else kind of sort of but they're still miserable 